So I've been working with Canova Arms and Canova Robots for about six years now. So I see them as a significant part of our education um, piece here at the university, as well as moving into the human-robot interaction side of things. I'm Brandon Hart. I'm the manager of the RoboHub here at the University of Waterloo. Uh, we are one of the first groups who had one of the Movo uh, mobile manipulators, which has a pair of Gen 2 arms on it. And we now have, uh, in addition to those, we've got a couple of Gen 3 arms as well that we use for our undergrad and graduate uh, education and research. With the Canova robot arms that we've got, we've had a number of applications ranging from force control to uh, nurse assistance, uh, surgical assistance, car refueling, uh, through pitch it, picking peaches, grapes, um, strawberries, all kinds of different uh, of agricultural approaches as well. And over the last you know, four or five years, it's grown to now we're supporting multiple fourth year design groups, uh, which are in undergrad and multiple research groups in grad studies that are working with the arms. And I don't see that slowing down anytime soon. So uh, the Canova arms, particularly the Gen 3s, are actually our go-to arm when we have undergrad students that have come in and they want to use a robot for a project, but they've never done robotics before. Because it's the easiest one to work with, it's the easiest one to move around. Um, and they can integrate with it via ROS, via MATLAB, via kind of whatever interface that they're looking for without having to dive deep into some of the more uh, technical or theoretical aspects of controlling robots.